Over 80% of viewers are not subscribed to Globetrotting, so do make sure to subscribe, this way you won't miss any content coming. In the aviation industry, developments surrounding new aircraft are undoubtedly some of our favourites. There's just something special about better understanding what is next for our major aircraft manufacturers. And in the last decade, probably one of the largest questions has surrounded that of Boeing and their next new airplane. As the plane maker now labels the project, or we may have commonly referred to it as for so long as the NMA, new middle of the market airliner. As we do rapidly approach 2023, the reality is that the aircraft hasn't launched or seen any movement, and we haven't had any firm movement for some time. This was in stark contrast to the mid to late 2010s, when discussion on a potential aircraft such as this was very present. In fact, with some analysts going as far as saying we could have expected a launch within the year. Now, this was back in 2018. They therefore cited 2019 as the optimal time, but the air show for that year came and went, and nothing fabricated. The subsequent 737 MAX crisis led to Boeing's resources to be put more on these pressing matters. Quality assurance difficulties with their 787s also became of top priority. Only issues they've recently said goodbye to now, with deliveries finally resuming. And of course, they still have their uphill battle to certify with the Federal Aviation Administration their newest widebody aircraft, the 777X which has already seen delays and is expected to enter into service five years later than initially slated, 2025. This also, of course, does not include interior management changes at a higher up level. Alongside the race to certify two further narrowbody types, the MAX 7 and the MAX 10, the last two and the smallest and largest members respectively of the 737 MAX series that is still yet to be able to carry passengers with airlines. As you can probably therefore be able to tell, priority at Boeing has been on other central products that are critical to the progression now in the moment of the American aircraft manufacturer. That doesn't mean, however, that the question hasn't always been present regarding the future and where Boeing's next plane lies, when we can expect it, and much more. An even more pressing topic as Airbus seemingly runs away with the middle of the market sector with their lucrative A321 Neo series only recently being enhanced with thanks to the addition of the A321XLR, or Extra Long Range, which has thus far secured sizable commitments in the hundreds, despite also having its very own delayed entry into service, with problems surrounding the additional fuel tanks and the potential fire risk that could come from it. During Boeing's latest and newest investor day, held towards the beginning of November, we got the final nail in the coffin regarding an upcoming NMA, and generally new aircraft from the American aircraft manufacturer, with the now new chief executive putting out the flames that may have been there for the type, with it being firmly announced that we can rule out any development on the plane until a staggering 2030. What he also means by that is after 2030, so that means we are likely a decade if not longer away from the beginning of development on Boeing's newest aircraft and when they head back to the drawing board, if not potentially even longer. Why is this exactly? Well, Boeing wants to ensure that it can secure adequate resources for a new aircraft or its next new airplane. It will depend solely on new technology, which is definitely an interesting take. This is alongside the need to ensure that the improvements in fuel efficiency are there, while also the plane can reduce carbon emissions. Boeing believes releasing an aircraft now, at this moment, would not only see the project be rushed, but in addition, may not harbour enough significant improvements to justify the price tag or the longevity in the industry, as airlines approach no doubt a very critical point in their sourcing of more efficient products. This is at least the feeling in the camp of Boeing for now when it comes to this next new airplane. It's an interesting take, no doubt, one that has received, you could argue, mixed reactions from those that do observe the industry. As always, we have two conflicting opinions. One party are under the impression that waiting this long will be detrimental to Boeing, as airlines have already been crying out for such a middle-of-the-market plane to better replace the 757 and the 767 to be built by Boeing themselves, even stretching to this year. We've had airlines and leasing companies openly express their interest and desire in such a plane, with Airbus really the only party having the best possible alternative 
Not moving forward with something to replace those two types I just mentioned would allow the European plane maker to make leaps and strides, and I want to reiterate that, leaps and strides ahead in terms of market share in this sector. Some even go as far as saying it's got to be a crime that they still don't have something on the drawing board and are waiting this long. However, of course, there's always another side to the debate, which is equally important and equally as interesting, with some believing firmly that waiting will actually allow Boeing to release a radically new aircraft that should change the industry and make for a much more attractive option for airlines worldwide. Maybe like how the 787 had an impact on the wider aviation industry, trends and much more. It makes sense that they would wait, but at the same time, it also makes sense that not moving forward with an NMA has been detrimental to their performance in the sector, and they've single-handedly allowed competitor Airbus to gain a monumental, also uncontested, upper hand. An upper hand that actually can attract existing loyal Boeing customers and potentially swing other aircraft orders Airbus's way, something not often talked about, but a very large risk if Boeing does not release this next new airplane and the carriers that were holding out hope on Boeing moved to Airbus, well, if they're looking for aircraft in 10 years' time, they have a better relationship with Airbus. It would primarily appear that from these comments, Boeing will ride the 737 journey as long as possible, and there are pros and cons to this. It's a series that we are also familiar with, but one that is also very dated, and had already incurred difficulties with the MAX. And no, I'm not actually talking directly about incidents, but rather the design, and ways to make the plane more efficient. News of this does open the door for further development over at Airbus on their A220 with the highly rumoured but also seemingly confirmed Dash 500 to eventually launch, alongside the future success of the A321neo program, as the 737 cannot do the same job. And the 787 is too large of an aircraft, and not what these airlines are looking for. And that's again going back to that gap between the 737 MAX and the 787 Dreamliner that many people believe is a crime to not have something in the middle. Of course, while there is a 757 and 767, Boeing does not produce these anymore, and they are a very dated but legendary airplane. Undoubtedly though, the news can be perceived as quite disappointing, given I will be well into my 30s by the time we see this next new airplane, potentially even approaching my 40s, which is actually very scary to say in itself, given me being only 21. However, there can be positives to take away from such a delay, it must be important to note, including that hopefully better technology will be available for the manufacturer to give the plane a genuinely revolutionary upgrade over, say, nowadays what would be a minimal increase in efficiency, which again leads to the risk of the plane being outdated very quickly. Airbus has established that market, and maybe it is best that Boeing just waits and holds out hope that in 10 to 15 years, there is better technology increased demand, and of course different trends, which no doubt there will be. Take a look back 15 years and the difference between then and now. A lot has changed, and I'm sure in the next 15 years that will be no different. But now let's conclude this longer video here on Globetrotting. Do you believe Boeing is making a mistake? Or are they doing the right thing? Do let us know down below the positives and the negatives from such decisions, whether you think they should have moved forward with it many years ago, or if waiting is best. Thanks very much for watching. Do take care and be safe, and we will see you next time.